So my parents and I just finished watching Foxcatcher like two minutes ago, and whew, I didn't realize it was so long. It's like over two hours long. We started watching at four, and I had to pause a couple times to go and make uh, make dinner and whatnot. And then we still, when we came back, we still had like half an hour left. But a very good film. I would recommend it if you haven't seen it. And actually, I'm surprised it wasn't nominated for more things in the Academy Awards and other awards shows. And this just reaffirms my original statement that I really think uh, it should have won for best makeup. Because pretty much, like the three main actors, they were all done up to, m to make them look completely different. But mostly Steve Carell. I mean, if you get really into the film, if you get really sucked into it, you can just forget that it's even him. Because it doesn't look anything like him, really. They had to like change his teeth and like, well, pretty much his whole face as well as adding on to his already, like, enormous nose. But the acting was very good, especially at the end. I won't, I won't spoil it, but wow. Um, so, yeah, I definitely recommend that to anyone who's looking for a good long movie or is interested in wrestling or is following the DuPont family story, I guess. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Also, yesterday was the St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Racine, which I didn't even really know was a thing until a few days ago. Pretty much every parade in Racine is way longer than it needs to be. And when you add in the fact that we're still kind of in that transitional phase between winter and spring, where sometimes it's like, oh, it's 60 degrees, get in your shorts. And then other days it's like, it's really windy and I feel like I'm going to freeze my nuts off. When you add that in to like an hour-long parade, it's not the most fun occasion. But Milan came, came along and we just kind of hung out in a gelato restaurant and played checkers so we wouldn't have to be outside where it was all windy and cold. And my dad drove, uh, he's in, he works for Case, uh, he drove the, the biggest tractor that they had on the lot, so that was cool. And then we came back here afterwards and just kind of hung out. And it was a good time.